Hey, everybody, set to go. It's another Wednesday edition of Thoroughbred Action here from beautiful Gulfstream Park. Jason Blewett joining you from our third floor clubhouse studios as we count down the magic number, just 20 races, two cards remain on this circuit for 2020. And as we gaze upon the new year, the start of it on January 1st, Friday, in fact, 2021, let's take care of some business. And with that in mind is a pit stop to the track and weather conditions. We are fast. We are firm. We had partly sunny skies and just a really nice day here in Hallandale Beach for thoroughbred racing. First of 10 coming up and nothing like a 12 horse turf race to start the card as we bring on these two year old maiden claimers. 12 of them with Pete Aiello standing by and the claiming tags, by the way, are 25,000. Racing at Gulfstream. From the far outside, Weight of Glory was the last in and the first out, and he's moving up to take the lead. I Am the Gray is on to challenge from his inside. These two race a length and a half better than my Maximilian, who comes away in third. Quinton Sol is now fourth. He ain't no saint trying to get over from the high draw. Down at the inside goes Military Commander. He's drawn within six of the lead. Back from there, it's Parmenides, who's already asked to quicken a bit to try to maintain his position. Two in front of Chip Shape. Westerly wins on his outside. Then Lord Flincher racing together. Together with Marlon B, and the early trailer is Golden Fiddle. To the back stretch they run. The opening quarter was 23 and 2. I am the Gray has the lead from Weight of Glory on the outside. Second, my Maximilian takes the trip. He's now third. Military commander in the two path while fourth, two and a half better than Quinto Sol. Another three back to He Ain't No Saint, who's racing about six lengths off the lead at the half mile. Lord Flincher improving at the fence. Westerly wind is wide with Parmenides dropping back. Then Marlon B in chip shape. And still at the back is Golden Fiddle. 48 seconds for a half mile speed as they round the far turn with the advantage. I am the gray by a neck. Weight of glory on the outside is second. Mid flight, that was He Ain't No Shane who checked hard as Westerly Wind tries to get started. Looking for room, my Maximilian, and on his back, Lord Flincher as they turn for home. Three quarters, 113 flat. Weight of glory on the outside. Toward the rail, my Maximilian got through, and my Maximilian is fired up to take the lead now. My Maximilian is on the board at 13 to 1, and he's clear. Lord Flincher followed him through, and he's up into second. My Maximilian well handled the victory. Lord Flincher was second from Dev last golden fiddle he closed a ton of ground to get third in 138 flat From the center, Moneycom gets the first call. Congrats, that's going to run with them away in third, Bon Prix. Down at the rail, flaming hot with Moon Pistol three wide. Mr. Edgar very wide on the course and splitting horses Siesta Moon. The early trailer is Gator 52. Down the back stretch they go with congrats that. Over to the rail and on top of length and a quarter. Bon Prix second. Money come third. Mr. Edgar on the outside. Toward the rail. That's a improving flaming hot in tight between Moon Pistol. At the back are Siesta Moon and Gator 52. Around the far turn they go. 22 and 4 for the opening quarter. Bon Prix bids up now for Paco to put a neck in front. Congrats that is back to second. Moon Pistol looking for room. Money come got shuffled. He's on a rebid. Looking for room at the rail and flaming hot. Isaiah's got no place to go there. He slams on the brakes. Here comes Siesta Moon wide on the course as they move for the top of the stretch. 46 and 1 for the opening half mile. Siesta Moon coming after Bon Prix who needs to quicken. Moon Pistol through at the rail and he's kicking nicely for Reyes. Eighth of a mile to go. Still three chances here. Moon Pistol nearest the inside. Siesta Moon out in the center. These two have kicked on. Bon Prix destined for third as they come home for the wire. It's Moon Pistol and Siesta Moon. Here's the finish. Siesta Moon won it. Siesta Moon holds on to beat Moon Pistol. Third was Volpre. Fourth was Moneycom and Mr. Edgar to complete the high five. 111 and 3.
happy is simply super. He polishes off an outstanding campaign with a dominant victory in the Malibu. No medication, no problem. Run happy standing at Claiborne Farm. Check to last at the break was Florida Endeavor. Excellent beginning for You're All Right, who hits the ground running and opens two and a half in a hurry. Valley Rosso and Compromiso second and third after the slow getaway. Florida Endeavor hunting racing room while in tight toward the rail. Fifth is the master of disaster, and the trailer is without passport. Past the half mile and moving to the far turn. You're all right. Has the lead length and a half. Valley Rosso second. Compromiso third. Florida Endeavor fighting the kickback while a joint fourth alongside the master of disaster and without passport is last. Less than three furlongs to run. Con Permiso charging it. You're all right, whose lead is down to an neck. Florida Endeavor very much up to the task here. He's sweeping up three wide after early trouble, and he's still in range with a quarter of a mile left to go. You're all right, made the lead, but now he's under siege. Toward the outside, Florida Endeavor from between horses. Con Permiso, these three straighten for home together. Down the center, Florida Endeavor shifting ground, but he's been a very, very impressive runner today as he had all kinds of adversity and overcomes it anyway. Not Nine to two the price. Florida Endeavor is in front. Florida Endeavor to win by three. Compromiso second. You're all right third. Master of Disaster, a lackluster fourth in 105 and three. plan was well served at the start so too royal mistress they're the first two to begin far outside wicked spirit into the top flight in between horses and antigone then legata negra and call me senorita is last out of the chute onto the main track wicked spirit gets clear to lead a length and a half antigone moves to her outside to race on from second and royal mistress is third at the inside it's two and a half to greater plan who's now fourth three in front of legata negra and call me senorita is last 25 and 1 for a posted quarter speed, 5 eighths left to run. Wicked Spirit leads Antigone three parts of a length. Royal Mistress is at the rail in third, a length and a half to Greater Plan, who's kept interested by a Royal while racing in fourth. Three more to La Gata Negra and Call Me Senorita. Half a mile away, and Antigone looks like she could take the lead whenever she wants. She's within a neck of the top as Wicked Spirit fights to hold her off. Royal Mistress threw at the fence, and these three now across the course. A gap of three to Greater Plan, who scrubbed on to keep up while fourth. Out the back are Lagata Negra and Call Me Senorita. 48 and 3 for the opening half mile. Antigone just ran on to take the lead. Antigone from Royal Mistress, who's back to second. Wicked Spirit has dropped anchor. Up on the outside, Legata Negra. Greater plan was never really a factor. Call me Senorita slides through at the inside as Royal Mistress tries to battle back inside of Antigone. Royal Mistress on the inside, back on even terms. Antigone driven out to hold command. Five ahead of Call Me Senorita as Antigone just now kicks away again. Royal Mistress did everything she could, but what she could not do was stay with Antigone. Antigone to win it three to five by three and a half in the end. Royal Mistress was second. Call me Senorita finished third. Legata Negra finished fourth. beginning soon after the start it's palace kitten who went hunting a clear lead and he'll get one from south point drive and all good strong headed is nearest the inside second last is empire express and the early trailer is reliability down past the wire the first time with palace kitten now taken hold by Lionel reyes to lead narrowly over all good who moves up on the outside second at the rail strong headed is a clear third with south point driving the two path fourth 
Unhurried at this stage in the Zilla Racing Colors is Empire Express, while second last and the gray reliability is last of all. The opening quarter was just 25 and 1. They complete the opening couple of furlongs and they roll into the backstretch now with Palace Kitten still the target. All good, going to keep him honest on the outside second. Strong headed in South Point Drive, their third and fourth. Empire Express is biding his time while second last and reliability is the trailer. The half mile was 50 and 1. So Gaff Leon made Reyes go a little quicker in that second quarter with the leader as Palace Kitten leads a half a length. All good. Under a long rein and continues to badger the leader while second. On the far outside at South Point, drive a joint third. Strong headed is next. Ortiz looking for racing room for Empire Express and reliability closer at the back as they have three furlongs left to race. On the outside, all good within a neck of Palace Kitten through three quarters and one fourteen and two. From the back, reliability getting started with a four-wide sweep. Empire Express hunts racing room. He's got a shot if he can find it. Trying to slide to the three-path is Jose Ortiz. He gets through, and he's on the attack now as they fan four across the course. Three quarters and one fourteen and two. Now there's an eighth of a mile to go. On the outside, Empire Express is trying to reach Palace Kitten, who tries to fight him off. Empire Express on the outside. Palace Kitten is game. Palace Kitten and Empire Express. Here's the line. It's Empire Express. Empire Express 6-1 to at home. A winner. Palace Kitten second and 149-3. and three. Half a dozen at six and a half furlongs. We're set now. And they're off. From between horses, my Ashley wins the break from the outside. Emma Rose from the inside, Whispering Pines. Had to take up there out of the chute as my Ashley crossed ahead of her. Newcomer into Candy is well spotted early. Third on the outside of the two leaders. Back at the inside in Turing, Egypt. And the trailer is Aquarib. Past the five eights and headed to the half mile point. And up front, it's Miguel Vasquez and Mai Ashley in front three parts of a length. Three wide into Candy from between horses, Emma Rose. Sequestered and in tight is Whispering Pines while fourth. Back to fifth and touring Egypt. And the trailer is Zakwareb. 23 seconds for the opening quarter. Around the far turn they race. It's My Ashley on top by a length and a half into Candy is second. Whispering Pines let go for a run three wide on the outside. Emma Rose is back to fourth. Touring Egypt is fifth and Aqua Reb is last as they run to the top of the stretch. 46 and two for the opening half mile. My Ashley remains the leader to the attack now. Whispering Pines tries to get on terms toward the rail. Emma Rose. The bid from Indy Candy was short-lived with three sixteenths to go. My Ashley now an eighth of a mile from home. Here's their Whispering Pines taking her shot on the outside toward the rail and Emma Rose. Whispering Pines has made the lead. Emma Rose charging through at the rail. Whispering Pines and Emma Rose. Whispering Pines driven out. Whispering Pines wins. Emma Rose second. My Ashley third in 118 and 1.
traffic at the start was Pharaoh's Gold. Good beginning for Glitter Bay, who's headed off for the early advantage. Serenade a Kitten comes away in second. Coffee Buzz Buzz moves up on the outside to challenge the leader. Fourth is Special Inclusion. Back to fifth while three wide Pandorica. Pretty Liddy is toward the rail and Darla's between horses. The two at the back are Kentucky Pride and Pharaoh's Gold. And the charge around the first turn, rail position and the lead to Glitter Bay, who's off the lead now by two. Coffee Buzz Buzz is clearly second in hand for Zayas, with Serenade a Kitten third at the rail. Followed fourth by Social Inclusion. Back at the inside is Pretty Liddy. Pandorica's on her outside. Back from there, it's Darla. Red Colors down at the inside. On her outside in Kentucky Pride. And the trailer is the favorite, Pharaoh's Gold. The daughter of American Pharaoh held up last as they pass the 5-8 mark. It's Glitter Bay by a length and a half. Coffee Buzz Buzz is second. Serenade a Kitten is third. There's been no change in the plot mid-race from Special Inclusion, who's asked to quicken while fourth. Three wide Kentucky Pride, Pandorica between horses, Pretty Liddy along the rail. Out of last is Pharaoh's Gold, and now the trailer is Darla. That's the nine of them as they round the far turn. They went 48-1 for the opening half mile. Glitter Bay still the target. Coffee, buzz, buzz, set to the attack, but losing ground to the leader. Back to third and Serenade a Kitten on from fourth, Pretty Liddy. Pharaoh's Gold held up in traffic. She has too much to do. Three quarters, 112 flat with an eighth of a mile still to go. Glitter Bay leads by two and a half. Serenade, a kitten tries to angle and rally late down the center and Coffee, buzz, buzz. Final 16th of a mile. Here comes Serenade a Kitten at Glitter Bay. Serenade Serenade a Kitten surging. Here it is. Serenade a Kitten. Serenade a Kitten in time for Tyler G from Glitter Bay and a photo for second with Coffee Buzz Buzz. 136 and 4. Positive Phil gets the first call, and Jaramillo drops him over to the rail already. Down the center, here's Baby Brother moving up, wider than him, and Cajun Embers. Trying to duck over his spinning kitten, moving out the rail. That's a small hope. Alongside him is Austrian with idle time next. Out the back door early are St. Larned and Convict Pike. In the charge to the first turn, Positive Phil has the lead and leads by an neck. Up on the outside, Cajun Embers is tugging on Vasquez. He wants to go faster as they try to slacken the tempo, which is already slow. From third, it's Baby Brother. Idle time is at the rail fourth. Austrian is between horses, spinning kittens on the outside. Convict Pike is held up in traffic with Small Hope along the rail. And three wide at the back is St. Larned. Well, Vasquez couldn't hold him, and the son of Cajun Breeze, Cajun Embers, has made the top now, and the opening quarter was posted in just 25-4 and four as they go five furlongs from home. Positive Phil second behind a 51-second pedestrian half mile. Baby Brother is third. Bravo's four wide on spinning kitten in fourth. Down at the inside goes idle time. Austrian, he'll need a way out. So will Convict Pike. He's been tugging on Lannery throughout, bracketed in by St. Larned, and Small Hope is last. They move now to the far turn with three and a half furlongs left to race. Cajun Embers by an neck. Positive Phil draws up alongside second. Meanwhile, Convict Pike just checked again. Three wide and baby brother far outside. That's spinning kitten. Idle time looking for room at the rail. Austrian still needs to find a way out. He's hemmed in here by St. Larned. Then Small Hope was at the rail. And the top two continue to battle. Top of the lane. Positive Phil on the outside. Cajun Embers battles back toward the inside. Loose now is Austrian. Small Hope comes alive late. Small Hope weaving through. Austrian down the center. These two have reeled in the speed. But Small Hope has the lead. Austrian can't get him. Small Hope wins. Austrian second, idle time third, positive fill fourth in 150 and one.
of the 12 as they roll into the backstretch. Beginning for Snap Hook, moving on his outside. It's walk off toward his inside as Incubator. Sent through at the rail, Danville with create again between horses. And Lannery got after Il Ferrioni, did not get so far back. Still, he's better than 15 off the lead as they run out of the chute. With the advantage, it's Incubator by an create again. Battles back toward the inside second with Snap Hook under a loose rein from Jockey Har Misael Jaramillo while racing in third. Danville's at the rail fourth, followed fifth by walk off. And then it's probably 12 or 13, maybe a little more to the trailer, Il Ferrioni. Less than five eighths to go. The pace is pretty quick here. 23 and three to the quarter speed. And Create Again leads by half a length. Incubator is on the chase while second. Danville is at the rail in third, racing from fourth in snap hook. Two and a half to walk off. He's last of the main group. And then it's a distance of the same 12 or so to Il Ferrioni. 46 and 1 for the opening half mile. Zayas let Create again do his thing in the second quarter, and he has the lead three parts of length. Snap hook, second incubator drops back. Danville set down driving by Angel Arroyo and moves between horses. Walk off is fifth, and then it's only 10 to the trailer, Il Ferrioni. Quarter of a mile left to go now. Three quarters posted up, 110 and 4, and the leader is Danville. Danville sets sail for the money as Create again is there second. Il Ferrioni from the back. He's in the frame trying to get a minor spoil. He's got too much ground to make up on Danville, though, and Danville's driven out. Up on the outside, Walkoff tries to get into second from Create Again, who's tired, but Danville's a winner. Danville at 7-1 to, to do it by 2 in the end. Going to be very close for second, but Create Again turned away Walkoff. Il Ferrioni, close ground to be fourth, 136-3. to start Wolfbane. Excellent beginning for Stuck on Kitten, who's headed out for the advantage. Here's Candace o to run with her on the outside. These two race on. Causing a hullabaloo is three wide and tugging. In between horses, a thing of beauty. Down at the inside goes Zia's song. She's saved ground into the top flight. In fact, she's only two and a half off the lead. In between horses and talk radio, three wide super all-star at the rail starship Enterprise. Then it's the gray here, here. On her outside, Cadencia. The two at the back are Cash Refund and Wolfbane. 24 and 1 for the opening quarter as they roll into the backstretch. Stuck on Kitten and Julian Laparu in front to half a length. Candace o keeps her company second. Causing a hullabaloo is together with Zia's song, their third and fourth. In between horses and a thing of beauty at the Rail Starship Enterprise. Out three wide, that's Super All Star. Talk radio is held up in traffic. Cadencia keeps her in. Here, here looks for racing room. No place to go yet. Then Wolfbane. And if Cash Refund wins, she'll pass 11 rivals and less than three and a half furlongs as they swing to the far turn. 49 seconds for the opening half mile. Candace O on the outside, stuck on Kitten toward the rail. Causing a hullabaloo is next. A thing of beauty is following her. And Zayas is on her back with Cadencia. Trying to run home from the back is Cash Refund. No place to go for talk radio as they turn for home. Up front, it's Candace O who now takes a narrow lead. Battling back second, stuck on Kitten. Into the clear, Cadencia comes alive late for Zayas. Final 16th of a mile. Candace O with Cadencia rolling late. Candace O almost home. Candace O oh, is hanging on to win it under Jose Ortiz. Second was Cadencia. Third was close. Looked like causing a hullabaloo. Hung on in 130-3. and three. And that's going to do it here on this Wednesday edition of Thoroughbred Action. We're back at it tomorrow afternoon. Do keep in mind on that New Year's Eve, December 31st program right here at Gulfstream Park. 
we will run 10 races, a regular start time at 12.35 Eastern, and that'll bring us into an 11 race program on that January 1st card here Friday and an early start time then of 12.05 Eastern. Regardless, we'll, we'll be at it tomorrow afternoon at 10 race Thursday as we close down and say goodbye to 2020. We'll see you tomorrow night right here on Third Red Action. Hit the, hay. Hit the hay, I've been working all day. Hit the hay, Hit the hay. what do you say? Hit the hay, Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. well I'm tired. Let me tell you Jack, I'm so tired.